Welcome everybody to Morat Nation. I'm Bob Carmichael and let's get started. Testosterone for Longevity, Part 3, Iron Management. It is almost impossible to live an extended lifespan without carefully managing iron. All-cause mortality rises as ferritin, a measure of iron storage, rises. Senescent cells contain 10 times more iron than healthy cells. High iron levels can also lead to higher amounts of lipofuscin in cells. Iron is regulated in the body by a liver hormone, hepcidin. When hepcidin is high, iron from diet sources uh, are reduced. Things that raise hepcidin, fasting and calorie restriction, hard exercise, several supplements such as quercetin from onions, ECGC, things that lower hepcidin, testosterone, growth hormone, and most other anabolic hormones. If you donate blood six times a year, you lose 30 to 50 nanograms per milliliter of ferritin, a measure of iron storage, per donation. It doesn't take long before you become iron deficient. Men who donate blood six times a year commonly have ferritin levels below 20 nanograms per milliliter, a dangerously low level. Anabolic hormones like testosterone can return ferritin to safer levels. Otherwise, hepcidin will block dietary sources of iron, including supplements, in your duodenum, for the first part of your small intestine. Part four, we talk about estrogen management and why it's so good for your bones and skin. Part five, we talk about sarcopenia. We've all seen men on the beach or at a tennis court that have almost no muscle at all. This happens as we get older. Part six, we talk about depression, the effect that testosterone has on mood. In part seven, we talk about testosterone risks and side effects, things that your doctor will talk to you about. All of these videos are available in a playlist at the end of this video. Be sure to click on it because finding playlists on YouTube can be difficult. It is much easier to find a playlist in your history file. Also join the nation. Click on the mole rat on the right. And thanks for watching.